Hello everyone and welcome to another NAPTEC tutorial. Today we're going to be teaching you all the basics and some more advanced features of the last uh, app or program in the Apple iWork suite. So this, uh, of course, we're talking about Keynote. Keynote is sort of Apple's response to Microsoft's PowerPoint. Uh, it is a very capable and powerful application and this video will teach you all about it. So make sure to stick to the end to learn all about Keynote. All right, so the first thing we're obviously going to do is launch the application. So the application's icon looks like this. It is a keynote stand with some sort of paper on top of it. You can launch it either by clicking the icon on your taskbar right over here, or by going to the launch pad by pressing this icon over here, or by clicking F4 on your keyboard. Again, you click the icon to launch the application. Once you launch the application, you will be greeted with the iCloud um, window, which shows you all um, presentations that you have saved on your iCloud account. Now, these may be from an iPad or an iPhone um, through iCloud. But since we are going to create a local copy, they will be on your Mac. So go to File and New to get started. Once you create a new document, the first window you will get is a template selection window where you can choose a template or create uh, a document from scratch using the black or white template. So you can select between a standard uh, size or a wide size. I would definitely recommend wide as um, all computers nowadays, most computers nowadays have a wider screen and so do projectors and televisions. So um, we are going to select a template as an example. Uh, let's go with this one. So to choose the template, you can double click or click choose. So right after opening a document or creating a new document, this is the window that you will get. Um, it is standard to all documents and it's pretty much where you edit and create your document. So we're going to start by going quickly going through the menu bar up here and explaining each of the buttons that are available. So on the top left corner, we have the view, which lets you disable and enable your navigator uh, or view the slide itself. So pretty much you can select from all of these features. You can select the navigator, slide only, light table, which would pretty much show you an overview of all your slides, and an outline. We're just going to go back to the navigator. We also have the option to edit master slides, which is a pretty advanced feature. I'll just go over it quickly. Um, it is pretty much the ability to edit a template. So it tells you editing a master slide may change slides based on that master, which uh, is a sort of a warning to prevent anything you wouldn't want to do. So you're pretty much editing every um, possible uh, slide, uh, in, available in the template and you can even edit some uh, features such as the background and things like that. So we'll just go out of that um, since it is pretty. So you just click exit master slides again. We also have the option to show find and replace which is a window that lets you find words or phrases in your document or replace them with other phrases and search for whole words as well. We can also um, we can also show the rulers and hide or show the comments through the same view menu, or show the presenter notes. Uh, next to that, we have the view option, which lets you select the zoom. We also have um, the ability to add a slide through here. Now, once you select add a slide, you will be shown all the available template uh, available slide layouts in your template. So you select one, and it will add it for you. Uh, over here, we have a play option, which will um, play a slideshow of your document. And we have the insertion options right here. So all of these buttons are available in the insert menu up here, but we will go through all these menus later on. In table, we'd insert a table. And throughout these menus, you will always be greeted with some sort of pop-out menu. Um, for most of them, it's going to be a template selection or a style selection. So you select a style of table that you like and it will insert it for you. Now, to delete any object on your PowerPoint 
uh, on, on, your, on your keynote, uh, you simply select the object and click delete on your keyboard. You could also go to edit delete. You also have the ability to add a chart, which you can select from the drop down menu as well. You have 2D, 3D, and interactive charts, which are very nice if you're using this on a screen and you're not printing the document. Text would simply add a text box if you're not directly writing into the document like so. You could just write in the text box and move it around as you wish. Again, delete to delete an object. You can also add a shape. Again, the drop-up drop-down menu where you can select a shape and a style. And add media from your oh, add media from your computer. That would be images, uh, music, or videos, and add a comment to a specific object. On the right here, we have two uh, very brief buttons where one is shared, so you can share a link to a document via iCloud or send a copy to uh, someone who would collaborate on it with you. We also have the tips button, which we hope you will not need after watching this video since, it will, well, since we are teaching you all that you need to know. Um, on the right here, we have the sort of um, window that cut oh, the sidebar actually, which can be disabled and enabled for three different options. So you can select format, which would format the slide layout and the background of the slide right here. You can select an image fill, gradient fill, um, advanced gradient fill, uh, advanced image fill, and no fill at all, which would give it a solid color. We're just going to go back to the image fill. All right, uh, you can disable that as well by re by clicking on this button again. You can click on animate, which you have to select an object to activate. You select an object and you add an animation to it by clicking add an effect. And then you select from this drop down menu. Um, you can uh, edit your animations by going through these tabs. It is very simple, so we won't go through it in very much detail. You can disable that again by clicking here. We also have document tab right here which would um, give you an overview, some settings about your document. You can change the um, size of it if you change your mind later on. Uh, widescreen to standard. Uh, you can also require a password to open, so encrypt the docu document and select some advanced features right here as well as here. You can change your theme as well. Um, it will keep your um, text and content in objects it will simply change the theme. You can also edit some audio here. All right, so that's it for the menu bar. So now you've pretty much mastered all that you need to know about editing the document. Now we're going to quickly go through these um, bar options up here and that will pretty much be it for this tutorial. All right, so to start with, we are going to go to the Keynote menu item. You can check out your license and credits over here as well as your version if you need to know that. Um, you can also go to Preferences, which would edit the settings for your document. Uh, not for, sorry. This would edit settings for the whole program and not for the document. So don't mix that up like I did. <laughs> so you can edit some various uh, settings for the app itself. We also have Services advanced services right over here. You can also provide Apple with some feedback about their software and hide Keynote, hide others, and quit Keynote. You can also do that by clicking Command Q on your keyboard. File um, to create a new document, open document, or open a recent document. To close a document, to save a document, to duplicate it, rename it, move it to, revert it to, or export it to. Um, this is very useful if you are looking to transfer this document to a PC that has PowerPoint. You can simply export it to a PowerPoint and it will do it for you. Uh, this is very, very useful. You won't have to convert or do all of that stuff. You just click over here and it will save it as a PowerPoint for you. Advanced features, uh, encrypting the document by setting a password and changing theme, saving theme and print. Again, you can change theme right over here by clicking document and change theme. Uh, over here we have the edit option, which undo you have undo and redo, which you can do with Command Z on your keyboard. We also have cut, copy, paste. All these are available by right le uh, right clicking on an object or by com control clicking an object. All right, so um, to finish off with edit, we have um, the ability to start speech recognition and to open up the emoji and symbols window where you can add emojis to your document. 
Next to that, we have the insert menu, which is the exact same thing as all of these. Um, so as you can see here, table, chart, all of these are right over here. Um, we can also add media would be this one. Choose or you can select a file from your Mac to add. Next to that, we have slide where you can edit some basic slide options. New slide, skip slide, expand, expand all, collapse, collapse all. Show slide numbers on all slides. Now this can come in handy if you're keeping track of the slide numbers. Format, uh, again, is right over here. We've already gone through this. Arrange would arrange the order of your object. So if I had this object on top of another one, I can send it to, uh, I can, <laughs> I can select another object and send it backwards or in front of it. So I'd send it backward and it would, the image would come in front of it. Um, we also have the uh, lock and unlock options over here, as well as the group and ungroup. Group is when you select multiple objects like this, and when you group them, or, or when you group them, you'll be able to move them all around at the same time, or um, uh, make them uh, well, make them bigger at the same time. We also have the view option, which can bring up the inspector as well as some other features like editing the master side, which was right over here, over here, and um, some other features like, um, that are all, some other features that were also available right over here. Um, play would let you play the slideshow just like here with some other options such as recording a slideshow, rehearsing a slideshow, or customizing a presenter display. Share is the exact same thing as this button over here. Window would uh, show you all the windows that you have opened. So if I open a new document, I would have a new window and it will appear right over here. Help, uh, we hope that you will not need after this video. And yeah, that, that brings us to an end. We are done with this class. You have learned all that you needed to learn about Keynote, including all of the basics as well as some advanced features. Now you're all set to create documents like a pro in Keynote. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if it helped you out, if you think it taught you something, at least about Keynote. So make sure to like it. And if you have any other video suggestions or if you have questions about this class itself, make sure to add them in the comments below and we will try to reply. Uh, finally, please subscribe to our channel if you want to keep up to date with all our new tutorials, reviews, unboxings, and more. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and it will help us a lot. Uh, it will help us out a lot. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has been another NAPTEC tutorial.